So what I have here is an HW611E slash P2AT pressure and temperature sensing module. And in this video, we're going to be discussing why you should not be using the Adafruit BMP280 library. From what I've researched online, the Adafruit BMP280 library seems to pretty much be the standard that everyone uses when using these pressure and temperature sensing boards. While the library did technically do what it says it does, there was more confusion than necessary when setting it up. And also for the application that I was trying to use it for, it was way too slow. What I was trying to create was a real-time pressure sensor, so blow into the tube, pressure goes up, stop blowing, and the pressure immediately drops back down to atmospheric. My primary issue with this library was its settling time. So it was perfectly fine when going from a low pressure to a high pressure, but coming down from that high pressure took to the order of 10-15 seconds. I had to reduce the sampling rate to better demonstrate the issue, however the issue is still clearly demonstrated and far from the ideal. As a replacement I would suggest the forced BMX280 library by Soylent Orange. I'll add the GitHub URL in the description. Once you have everything installed, just comment out the bits you don't need. It was also not necessary to manually input the I2C hexadecimal address. To change the sampling rate, you can also change this number here. I took this code and adapted it to what I needed, which ended up being less than 25 lines. Using this library, we get the much better output that we saw before. This library is also made to be compact so it could be programmed onto an ATtiny, hence it takes up less memory and RAM. So yeah, thanks to Soylent Orange for fixing my issues. Hopefully some of you guys get some help out of this too.